two, one, and liftoff. I would say Michael Phelps in Rio. This is going to surprise you that I'm this kind of a renaissance man that I know this, right? He broke the record for individual golds held by Leonidas 2,189 years ago. Wow. That's got to be on anybody's list. Two, the Cubs win. I know that's not popular here, but it was a great national story. And three, the better national story. Did I say three? I meant one. The better national story is the shot and the block. The fact that two great players made two great plays to bring this city its first championship in 52 years it has to be number one on my list. Number three for me is also a Rio thing. I can't believe we both went Rio. It was an Olympic year. It was an Olympic year. I like the Olympics. It's not a Ryan Lochte moment, though. Uh, Katie Ledecky in the 800-meter freestyle, it was like secretariat. She won by 11 seconds. She won by like a lap. When you see that kind of dominance at the most elite level, it would be like if, if somebody won the Super Bowl 100 to nothing. It's, it's phenomenal. Number two is the Cavs. Number one are the Cubs, Cleveland. It was 108 years. The Cubs were down 3-1 with the team full of young superstars. LeBron and Kyrie were unbelievable, right? I know maybe you're tired of hearing about it. It was 108 years. That's number one. 108 years, and if it had gone 17 minutes less and there was no rain delay, the Indians win that thing. Which makes it all the more dramatic and why it should be. You can't turn your back on 108 years, even if you're from Cleveland. Oh.